Oke, okay. uh, good afternoon everyone. Um, to uh, actually we have finished all the material for the electric physics. So um, the material for final exams is uh, for from af, uh, from here. Electro electromagnetic wave, fundamental characteristic and propagation light, and then diffraction and interference, and then geometrical optics. So this is um, all material for the final exam. Please uh, prepare it. And the schedule of final exa exam will be displayed in SIAC NG. So please uh, aware and also um, check the final exam of the physics class, elect electric physics class. And the, um, the method for the final exam is similar to the quiz one, and also midterm test, and also quiz seconds. So please prepare it. Uh, today I'm going to discuss, um, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, one uh, or two um, the questions maybe uh, yes is the, the interesting question in uh, three 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 chapter that we have we, we yeah, that you will do for the final exam the first one this is the question from chapter 33 it means that this is the electromagnetic and also the fundamental of uh, light. I, I, I mean that here is the electromagnetic wave, fundamental characteristic, and propagation and light. So we will we will discuss one uh, of the question from that chapter. So um, please uh, look these questions in Figure 33:51. The light is incident at angle of uh, theta one is 40.1 degree. on a boundary between two transparent materials, some of the light travel down through the next three layers of transparent materials, while some of it reflects upwards and then escapes into the air. If N1 is uh, 1.3, N2 is 1.4, N3 is 1.32 and N4 is 1.45. What is the, the value of A, theta 5 in the air and theta 4 in the butter material? So uh, you see that we have the incident angle of theta 1. So the theta 1 is coming from N1, material 1, until material 4. The um, the light is traveled to material 4 and um, and also reflects to uh, air in theta 5. So the question is what is the theta 5 and uh, what is the theta 4? So to um, solve this uh, to solve this questions the first one we have uh, okay I, I will um, I will draw here roughly. So this is we have a one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not here. So one, two, three, four, and air. Okay. So this is the N one, N two, N three, N four. And we have light coming from here, yeah, here, 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 and also another like this one, yeah. Okay, so this is this one. So this is not coming from this one. So I. Mm, put it here. Let's 
not not from N1 so here mm, so here okay so this is the theta 5 and then okay this is theta 5 and ah uh, okay <laughs> um put here so it's like this one no, okay. so this is the theta 4 so this is the light this light 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 like this one and this is the air okay so the light is coming from n1 to n4 and then also reflected to to the air so what is the theta 4 and what is the theta 5 so the first one we have uh, approximate we have make assumptions uh, uh, by approximating n is equal to 1 in the air so we have um n1 sin theta 1 is equal to uh, n5 sin theta 5 right okay so n1 sin theta 1 is equal to 1 sin theta 5 okay so from this one we know that theta 1 is 41 so sin 40 uh, 40.1 and then n1 is 1.3 so this is 1.3 dot here is equal to 1 dot sin theta 5 so from here we we, we will know that um, sin theta 5 is equal to 1.3 multiplied by sin 40 uh, dot one per one so theta five is equal to um fifty nine point fifty six point nine degree so this is the theta five and then um the second question this is the, from theta five and second question is what is the theta four so the theta 4 we will using this equation n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 and is equal to n3 sin theta 3 and is equal to n4 sin theta 4 okay sin theta 4 So the theta four is so it's similar to so we can use that n one sin theta one is equal to n four sin theta four. So theta four will be arc sin from n one per n four sin theta one. So and uh, theta four is thirty five point three degree. So this is the answer of this uh, questions that theta five is fifty six point nine degree, and theta four is thirty five point three degree. So here you have to remember that if um, in the lights coming from different material, it's what it's like from n1 to n4 so this is n1 to n2 and to n3 and to n4 so the basic question uh, the basic equation is this one n1 sin theta 1 is must be equal to n2 sin theta 2 and is equal to n3 sin theta 3 and equal to n4 sin theta 4 here so we can calculate this one and then if it's re reflected back to the air that n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n4 sin theta 4 in n5 sin theta 5 sorry so we can get that theta 5 is equal to 556.9 so this is the first questions about the electromagnets and fundamental characteristic of the light thank you